Hello all my VIPs, this is not a new series that I'm doing and whatnot. This is just me casually talking about some shit that's just shocking, basically, or surprising me each and every time. Now, this is not a person I followed oftenly and whatnot, but I do remember that 70s show, and I do remember seeing this person, and I thought he was cool as fuck. Every time you see him, he just saying so cool as shit, just being there, bro. This seemed like the chillest, most relatable dude ever. And then you find out his actor is a piece of shit. Oh my gosh, bro. Like, okay, it says that 70s show star Danny Masterson has been found guilty on two counts of rape, faces 30 years in prison. Oh my gosh, bro. Some people just don't know how to sit their fucking ass down and just not do anything bad. Like, damn, y'all don't y'all don't like being home? What the fuck? Y'all just doing some wild shit? Like, what is going on? What is actually going on? Like, actually, what's going on? Because when the world... We're going to go into this on Twitter side. Um, The first part of this was mainly for the shorts and whatnot. But I feel like I'm going to make this a full video. I may as well. Let's just go investigate even more. Because, um... Did they just found this out? Like, since it, it... Well, of course, they didn't just find this out and stuff like that. They, of course, did a whole case and a whole investigation. But I didn't even know this whole thing was going on. So, let's get into it. Before we go to Twitter, I'm going to read the comments for this because it was under the comment section of a person named King Asante. I love this person. Please subscribe to them if you can. Anyways, let's go to the comment section. It says, yes, him. His family are a Scientologist. Oh my fucking gosh, no. And his association with the church is what led him get away with it for so long. What? First of all, all you had to say was Scientology. And I instantly am just like, damn it. <laughs> damn it. And they're just like, okay, they said inspiring. Ugh, what's wrong with people in here? They said, I used to innocently watch this show when I was in middle school. Me too. I used to watch this show when I was in elementary school and whatnot. Just staying up late at night when my parents told me not to. And I would watch this show. And then I would click on different channels. Then go to George Lopez afterwards. Then go back to the show and the show would end. But anyways, yes, bro. I can't. Innocently watching it. Only to find out that this dude is a creep years later. So kind of how most churches protect creeps yeah you're not wrong actually you're you're very you're very correct on that and it's very fucking sickening how a lot of these creeps and weirdos go to church because they know they'll be fucking protected and how the church will just protect them oh my gosh we're protecting them they they did wrong but they they know right right now no the fuck they don't they they know they're wrong the whole time they'll still do the wrongs my guy like what do you what did you expect like ugh, so weird ugh, anyways the fact that so many are surprised really speaks to how little these kinds of cases get covered. Yeah, many ex-Scientologists have said that celebrities in the group can literally get away with murder. Damn! Bro! Oh my fucking gosh, bro! This is awful! Well, this is an unexpected twist. I didn't expect them to get convicted. May this be some... May this be some peace to those he harmed over the years. Yes! Oh my gosh! I pray for the ones who he has done wrong to. Because this is fucking sick. This is awful. What was the point? Like I said earlier, why can't people just learn to sit their fucking ass down and not do horrible shit like this? Like, it's never that serious to where you should be raping people. Like, that's disgusting. It's never that serious. Oh my gosh. Not surprised. Pretty sure he's been suspected of such for years. Glad justice is being served. It's a shame a good character has been tainted by him. Right. Not surprised, but glad they took the claim and the sentence time seriously. Right. Now, the motherfucker deserved it. Met him once in North Hollywood back in 2005 and got to see firsthand how he interacts with women. Dude's a creep. Oh, my God. Exactly. This has been known about this man for years, which is why he disappeared. Damn. So, he's been a creep all this year? All these years? What the fuck? Okay. It's not like I'm just like, oh, yeah, you know, I, I follow him and I never knew. No, I've never followed this man through and through. I've only ever watched him on that show. Never actually knew about his actual, like, how he, who he actually was. I just knew his name. Never actually knew him, like, talking with. Didn't know how he interacted with people. But to find out that he interacts with women specifically, not even just people, women specifically, he interacts with them as if he's a creep, because he is. It's, it's, what the fuck, man? Absolutely him. So many of these celebrities are absolute trash until they just prove that. There's, like, why the hell is there so many celebrities, some of which that play really cool characters and they end up being actual 
filth. Like, what is wrong? Uh, what What are you on? Glad he's getting a high sentence instead of just a slap on the wrist. He should be in there for life. I hate when they say it. That, that's not a high sentence. Oh, 30 years is a high sentence? You, no, it's not. It's not. 30 years is not a high sentence, bitch. You should be getting life. You should be getting life. You should not be ever coming up out your house thinking in your mind, oh, yeah, I'm just going to go outside and, and sexually assault two people for, like, what? No reason. Even if there is a reason. It's not a right one. There is never a right one to be doing that shit to somebody. Like, come on now. Anyways, not him. More like not those poor girls who were attacked. Right. No idea who the fuck he is, but damn right. Some people don't know who he is, and I understand. But, like, it's a good thing you don't know who he is. Because to find out who he is, it's like, okay, damn. Saw this coming for real. It's sad because I genuinely like them, but he's terrible. Right. He's from the 70s show, one of the cast members, and he's a horrible piece of shit. So it's like, damn. Uh, they were, they, I read that as feces, not faces. I actually did the same too. Okay, now we're going to go to Twitter. Okay, so I know my phone's about to die. I'm about to charge up anyways. Let's go on with this for a second. Netflix exec tells one of David Masterson's rape accusers, we don't believe them. What the fuck? Okay. Man jailed for 17 years for, you know, rape and sexual abuse of his daughter over seven years 56 year old david master fatal at blackmailed his daughter and used deception coercion physical violence and de degradation more rte news what the fuck charlene masterson who is now 32 has waived her anonymity she compared her experience to the movie sleeping with the enemy she says she's speaking out to shoe survivors it is possible to rebuild your life Horrendous ordeal for this brave young woman to have been through. Hope she can move forward and find some hope and joy in her life. I hope the same way. I did not know any of this. I will be praying for her and everyone he's ever fucking wrong. Because what? Oh my gosh, bro. I am so sorry this happened to you. What in the world? This just gets worse and worse. But because on YouTube, when it told me this, it really did just pop up out of nowhere. I didn't look this up. <laughs> I mean, I don't even follow the actor. So I would I would have never even known this if it had, it had popped on YouTube. And um, I'm glad I, it did. Because what the hell? Like, now that I know, I won't be... Now that I know about it, it's like, I'll, whenever I see him, I will not be happy to see him, basically. It's, I'll probably inform my family if they ever see him in any future stuff like how much of a horrible person he is so that we don't watch it and shit because uh they said i think ooh, hold on wait what is this coming from uh oh it's more people who are sick awful ass people okay they said uh, okay so this one says i think some of that comes from an inherent homophobic bias not to conflate with pedophilia of course but the fact that spacey's victims were the same gender as he makes me wonder about his swift ouster and not david masterson accused of rape what what is this going into i don't know what this is happening that came to spacey some of these people's names i actually recognize so let's go into this thread a bit uh, Roy Moore is a sick man. He is a pedophile. This story is deeply sourced. It is credible, and I believe the women. They said, thank you, Steve. Notice that only one man had to accuse Kevin Spacey, and it was taken as true. Here we have four women, and all we're hearing is, if this is true, you know what? You're fucking correct. I'm sorry, I'm cursing. You are completely correct. There's been many cases where you'll see a man basically accused another man and a lot of times some people you'll see a vast majority actually take them just by that truth and whatnot just by their that person's quote-unquote truth the moment that four women come out over four women shit more than one woman come out and say that oh this person is basically a horrible person they're a raper and they're all this People will be like, if it's true, no, not if it's true. And then it comes out with evidence. That's why I I kept making videos about the Jonathan Majors one. And it's not, his case does not have anything to do with rape and whatnot. But it has to do with violence. And the fact that we literally get, you know, not only the thing about the girl who's with having actual injuries, 
but also the text messages you know just just we get more evidence than we would normally get in these cases and yet there are people still being like oh my gosh they're just trying to like ruin his career because he's a black man and it was a white woman that he supposedly beat on and this is that third it's it's still a man and a woman a man putting his hands on a woman but oh we don't believe the person despite the fact that there's more evidence than we ever could get if this were like oh there's nothing no text messages no injuries on only the woman if there was nothing like that or if there was injuries on both the man and woman but no text messages it's just like okay that's a different story but this is literally like okay it's showing something really fucked up happen and the one who got the most horrible brunt in of it is the woman forget the races uh <laughs> focus mainly on the damn gender in this case you'll be quick to believe a man but the moment a woman has something to say it's 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 a different story it's a if rather than a okay then it happened no like it's weird it's weird people are weird as hell <laughs> People are weird as hell. Now, there have been some cases where that's been the opposite, you know, where people have been quick to believe the victim, the supposed victim, or the women in this case, and then they end up being wrong, aka the quite situation, well, you know, where, or I'm going to just say the victim, okay, where the supposed victim was saying that the YouTuber had done something to them, and then the YouTuber had so much evidence saying, um, no, bitch, you're wrong, to the point to where people who had agreed with the supposed victim had to double back on their statement and be like, okay, so I believe that we were wrong on this one. So it's like, that was an opposite case, but that is also kind of rare. It's getting, it's getting higher in those cases where people are starting to believe you know the women or some of the supposed victims a bit more nowadays but beforehand it used to be a man's word against everybody else's i gotta be honest with you like um but yeah anyways is that gonna be it for this video pretty much gonna be it i was gonna look into more but my phone is literally dying so yeah um what else are we gonna look into uh let's see the case Ooh, let's put in victims because when in the world Oh gosh, you see, we're going into Twitter. We're going to where is it? Jail for sexual abuse of what? It's a sexual abuse of his daughter. Who wants to be his double? Yeah, that's what we saw earlier. Oh my gosh, bro. Hold on. Hello, my VIP. So that's the end of the video. Um, yeah, looked it up on Twitter. I'm surprised there's not a lot of people talking about it, but you know. Yeah, I am sorry for everyone he has wronged. I know it has, it has got to be more than two women that he has wronged. I know for sure. But yes, that'll be the end of the video. And yeah, may peace be with you for an eternity.